Okay, it's almost the, it is the last week of July and we're back with the Whidbey White. I, I wanted to quickly answer one of the questions about plant height. I just wanted to show you that we've got these 100 cultivars and you can kind of see that they're, none of them are super tall. We've been cooler nights than usual and drier weather than usual up until recently. And so everything's felt a little bit slow. So height is genetic. So different plants have different heights genetically, but um, it's also environmental. So everyone that's kind of got shorter plants and are surprised by that, I'm, I'm not that surprised given the season. What I really wanted to show you today was harvesting and recording pods from different plants so then when we can take them back and do a like a pale color analysis to try and assess which plant is producing the palest pods. Okay so you got all your plants in the field, it's sunny and the leaves cast shade on them and, and it's just it's just hard to make an assessment by looking at them in the field. So what I do I like using paper bags because it's super easy. I'm just gonna take a bag and I'm gonna do a one, oh, old bag, two, and I'm gonna, for each one of my plants that I have in the field, knowing I'm always gonna start at one end, there's gonna be plant number one, plant number two, plant number three, plant num et cetera, et cetera. And that just allows me to put each pod that I harvest in a numbered bag and then I know which pod that plant relates back to. So when I make assessments, whether it's culinary or in this case visual, when I get back to my house and use that color, color card, like out, out of direct sun and in natural light, I'll actually be able to make my judgment and then track it back to a plant. So very, very simple, but kind of important to try and do this with a pod from every plant all at the same time. So here's the field picking of my numbered okras. You can see number four didn't have anything to harvest and then like even five and six is really a little bit too small. Ideally I want to make the assessment when they were all kind of this perfect three to four inches long. So I'm not quite at the perfect place, no number 10 either. I'm not quite at the perfect place where I'm getting consistent full production up all the plants. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to show it you as a process, but Ideally, I want to have, you know, all the plants maturing pretty simultaneously to make an accurate assessment. Okay, so I brought my pods home, transferred them and kept the numbering system. And now in, in natural light, seeing them all together, we can start having a look. Now, as I said in the field, what we really want to do is have similar size pods. So my plants aren't quite producing enough that I was able to harvest consistent three to four inch, you know, three to five day old pods. So you can see, because it's obvious that the pods change color over time, you're probably already starting to see that in your own crop. And you can see that the two bigger ones, you're like, oh yeah, they're really pale, but they're both fibrous as well. So we wouldn't want to eat them at that stage. So we're looking for a pale pod at the eating stage, number three is a pretty good example of that. Okay. So, uh, and actually number three is my palest. But like I say, it's not totally fair because number five, they always start off a little darker green. Number five, number eight, and number six, they're all real young. We can see number seven is kind of similar to number three, but number three is lighter. This number one is pretty pretty good for pale. Um, although I have seen some pictures in the Facebook group that are of this kind of size, you know, not much bigger than the card, and are looking really pale. So I'm excited about some of the um, pods that you guys are finding, which is the whole reason I did this project, because I didn't have space to do another huge grow out, so I've only got these 11 plants. But between all of you, we've got uh, well over a thousand plants. So um, out of those, I'm hoping we can find those super pale genetics and take them forwards. So um, so yeah, this is, this is how I'm going to make my selection criteria. 
is by, you know, at the moment keeping an eye on plant number three, but know that I'm going to harvest them all again and do this process once I've got similar sized pods off all the plants. And it won't be until that stage that I actually go, okay, these are the, this is the plant or the two plants I want to save seed from. And then we'll go through the isolation with the bag that I send you. So don't, don't even worry about that right now. You can keep eating the okra. I call it maintenance harvesting until the plants are producing enough okra that we can make a decent assessment of all the plants to find the palest pod. So I hope you're still enjoying this project and we'll, um, I can keep posting pictures. It really makes me happy and uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you all. Bye.